Google Reshade. Click on the first link. Press download. Open. Run. Navigate to where Rocket League is installed. Here it is for me, probably the same for you. Select Direct 3D9, hit yes. And unless you know what you're doing, just install all of these. And there you go, boom, it's in, easy peasy. And to uninstall, just navigate to your Win32 folder and delete these two files. I recommend just saving a copy of them somewhere and dragging them into the Win32 file when you want to use Reshade and taking them out when you want to uninstall it. Also, make sure to turn off lens flares in game. For whatever reason, it ruins Reshade. Once Reshade is installed, you can press home at any time in game and it'll open up the menu. It may seem a little daunting at first just because there's a ton of options, but I promise you the more you work with it, the easier it'll be. To explain the layout a little bit, up at the top that directory leads to wherever your Reshade files are going to be stored, and these are like different presets that you have. So click the plus and name it whatever you want. So all the names that you see are shaders that are installed, so you click the check mark and it activates them and then underneath that where all the sliders are have all the parameters for the shader itself. So the way that Reshade works is it works off of a normal map or a depth map, which essentially means whatever is closest to the screen is gonna be darker and whatever is farther away is gonna be closer to white. And from there it can judge depth and add certain effects to certain parts of the image. When approaching a scene, I don't really have a specific idea in mind. Often I'll start with the background color with depth haze or something and just go from there. I'll start adding shaders and if it looks good I'll keep it and if it doesn't I'll turn it off. It's really not any more complicated than that. The most important shader that I use is light DOF far and this does exactly what it says. It creates depth of field for the background. So I always start with that one and FXAA and SMAA just to smooth some of the edges a bit. Besides the depth of field, I use depth haze, emphasize, and adaptive fog more than anything else. So these are my usual settings for depth of field. Really all I change is the bokeh width and the manual focus. The manual focus is just what in the scene is going to be in focus and everything behind it is out of focus and the bokeh width is just the size of the blur itself. Obviously you can change all the amounts here but those two are really the only ones that I end up changing. So Reshade is a little janky, it's getting better, but a lot of people have issues with effects not working when they first install it. And usually you can diagnose your issue with the display depth effect. I don't know why, but in the new Reshade updates, it looks like this. So the first thing I'd suggest is just clicking depth map. So if your whole screen is black, just select Reshade depth input is reverse and set that to whatever the opposite of what you have is. For me, that's zero. If that didn't fix it, I'd recommend changing the other values and seeing if that works. It's kind of different for everybody, but that fixes pretty much 99% of the issues that people have with Reshade. I've also noticed that Bakke's mod doesn't seem to work when you have Reshade. There might be a fix for this, but I've never really had an issue with it. I just use the Bakke's mod console. Worst case scenario, I have to uninstall it really quick and then reinstall it. And there you go. That's my process. Not much more to it than that. This is my process. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong along the way. So if anybody wants to correct me or tell me how terrible the effects I chose are, you know, feel free to let me know. If you have any questions, happy to answer them. And subscribe if uh, your phalanges are connected to your metatarsal bone, or if it isn't, you know, no judgment. <laughs>